In this next module, we'll be tackling solving radical equations. And this will be an important tool that will be helpful in solving certain kinds of application problems a bit later. Now we'll begin with some pretty straightforward basic radical equations and progress to those that are a bit more challenging. And the first one we have is the cube root of 5x minus 2 being equal to negative 3. Now when the radical in the equation is isolated on one side as it is here, what we'd like to do is to eliminate the radical from the equation. And we do that by raising each side of the equation to the power that's equal to the index. So in this case, what we'll do is raise each side of the equation to the third power. So what we'll have then will be this. We'll raise each side to the third power. And you can see that doing so will eliminate the radicals. So we will be left then with 5x minus 2 is equal to negative 27. And adding 2 to each member, we have 5x is equal to negative 25. And dividing each side by 5x is equal to negative 5. Now it's always a good idea in solving any equation, but particularly with radical equations, to check that result. So what we'll do is go back and replace x in the original equation with negative 5. And simplifying a bit more inside then, we're going to have the cube root of negative 25 minus 2, which simplifies to then the cube root of negative 27. And we know that the cube root of negative 27 is negative 3, so our answer checks.